What's going on guys, it's Chu here bringing you a, another review on Dragon Ball Super. This chapter I gotta say was honestly awesome. It had been a while since I had really gotten into Dragon Ball, like when it comes to these things, we're having characters meeting up for the first time, uh, characters that are actually, hopefully, gonna take things seriously now that we're seeing them. Because really, there's a lot of potential right now. The only two characters that I'll get into that I think are missing are Majin Buu and Piccolo. Like they could very much well be on this planet as well and just train with these guys. Cause honestly, like it is a wasted like moment not to have those two, but maybe that's for another time. I'm getting ahead of myself. But guys, before I even continue even further, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that helps out tremendously. It really would mean the world to me if you guys would subscribe and support the channel. It really would mean the world. But anyway, let's get to it. So, we start off with having Goku showing up. And he, as we already seen him in the last chapter, he's surprised that there was someone as powerful as what he had sensed on Beerus' planet. And he had to come down. And so we actually see him talking to Go Gohan. And we have Gohan, you know, surprised to see him at first because, you know, it's been a minute since they've seen each other. And who knows really how long it's been since Goku has been on Earth. I mean, he's been spending most of his time training. The same goes for uh, Vegeta. And with Broly, you know, it's a handful. And so we actually see Goku saying, you know, hey, let's spar, Gohan. And, you know, I want to see how strong you are. And so he's like, oh, okay, well, let me get ready. And so we see that Gohan's got that mentality now it's like all right you know what it's time to do some training and so i actually love that goku actually included trunks and goten in this as well and of course we have carmine and we have soldier 15 tagging along and it's like everyone gets in the car and goku just transports them just with no issue whatsoever just transports them to beers's planet beers is like who are all these people why are they here you know kind of getting annoyed but we see how Gohan, Goten, and Trunks are just kind of like, you know, kind of skeptical a little bit. And Vegeta's not even seeming that welcoming to Trunks. You know, he sees his son and he's like, why are you here? He's like, did you do anything in that battle? And you just kind of question him like, dude, you hadn't seen him in months. Like, cut some slack to the kid, you know? But uh, over the training sessions, I will say... I was not expecting to see Goten and Trunks fighting against Gohan. It wasn't something I was expecting, but it was nice. It was a welcome treat to have these guys fighting, especially the Gohan and Trunks moments. Like, now that we see Trunks more of, I guess you could say, a future Trunks, we kind of, I'm kind of getting that vibe where, you know, future Trunks and future Gohan were kind of like that good friends. And so seeing that really warmed my heart a little bit. Goten obviously is the weaker of the of the children, let's put it that way. But nonetheless, you know, it's still great to see them training. And I'm really hopeful that moving forward, they're included. I want these guys to be more than just a joke at this point. Like, these guys are Sans. They need to be taken more seriously. Like, I don't understand why for so long these two are just kind of like, all they know is that one trick pony of the fusion. And like, when they were kids, they were the first kids to go Super Saiyan. Like, that's an achievement in itself. And before that, was Gohan. And so, you know, they're not leaving a good, I guess, mark in the world when it comes to Dragon Ball. Like, they're really no one's favorite. Future Trunks is loved by everybody. But this Trunks and Goten, it's been a disappointment. But no, nevertheless, though, it was a good fight. Uh, we saw the fusion again. We had Gotenks for the first time, you know... Uh, well, not for the first time, but like seeing it against someone else, like another person in a training moment. And we see that it doesn't go well. Gotenks gets easily defeated. He doesn't go Super Saiyan 3, which is something dumb in my opinion. We finally see the ultimate being official. I've always known it as Mystic Gohan and Ultimate as well. Like both names were kind of like tossed around a little bit. So I was just kind of like, okay, well, now you give it a more definitive name. So it's Ultimate now. And so we see that Goku's turn and Goku is excited. You know, he does not hold back. He goes and goes into his ultra instinct form. And we have Gohan going into Beast. And we see the surprise factor on 
Broly's face, who I'm almost forgetting to mention in this chapter. Like, we see how, you know, he's kind of, like, watching the fights. And uh, he's surprised with Goten and Trunks becoming Super Saiyans. He still needs that control. Because if he does get it, he'll be a powerhouse for sure. He'll definitely mop the floor with the boys. Gohan may be a bit of a competition, but we'll see how strong he really is. But Gohan right now is the guy to be right now. Because Gohan's beast form is really cool. We see that, you know, him talking to his dad and how he, this transformation was named after, you know, Piccolo gave him this name and kind of getting that mentality. It's like, look, I need to be ready at any given moment. You know, a fight could happen. And we have Carmine also with Soldier 15 recording all of this. Like, they are blown away by seeing this. I don't think there's anything these two could do to even try to replicate this kind of strength. I think at this point, it's just to have them, like, be comedic extras. So it is kind of funny to have them in there. But, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, fight was only getting spicy. Like, we only saw them going at it for a few little bit. And then, and by the end of this chapter, we kind of get teased with it. So, I love how in this chapter, just kind of wrapping it up, that he makes the mention of Piccolo and training against him. I absolutely love that. Like, Piccolo needs to be on this training man montage. And I think Majin Buu as well. But I'm just going to save that for maybe a different time. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll catch you all later.